So technology is one of the issues. The way kids are getting raised. And again, a lot of factors that go into this one. But boredom is not allowed with kids today in the way that it used to be. My parents, I don't think I mentioned, are here. I <laughs> vouch that when I would say, Mom, Dad, I'm bored, they'd say, go outside and play, or go up to your room and play if it was colder or rainy outside, right? Yeah. Now what happens, kids are getting scheduled. And this has been going on for a long time. There are a lot of reasons behind this. It's caregiving uh, opportunity and need that some households have. Other households are doing it because they want to give their kids the best chance to get into whatever may be institution that they hope that their kids can go to. The kids aren't being given the opportunity to get bored. And what do you think I was doing when I was bored outside or I was upstairs in my room? Role playing. Sometimes I was playing Wonder Woman. Sometimes my sister and I were pretending we were running a restaurant. Never done either of those things. But I needed to have empathy to step into the uh, shoes and imagine what it might be like to be the maitre d' of this wonderful French restaurant and invite people in. Peugeot, we call it, because I had a Peugeot bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> or I was playing Wonder Woman. And it wasn't me as me. I was stepping into her boots and spinning around and doing all the things as her. That's empathy. That's seeing the world through somebody else's view as them. And so that helps build your empathy muscle. Empathy is one of those things that we're born with, as I said earlier. And just like you're born with muscles in your legs so that you would ultimately be able to walk and run, kids need to have the opportunities to develop those muscles to build up the strength so that they can stand and then scoot, then walk, and then run. Empathy is the same way. You've got to have opportunities. You've got to be exposed to situations where you can practice empathy and you can build your muscle up. Because if you don't, it'll atrophy, and you won't be able to do it. 40% decline from 1979 to 2001. And then there's social media, which has redefined our tribe. Social media is all about validation. It does play a useful role in our ability to connect with other people, but it's also redefined the way we align with others. So like I was mentioning with the video game, you're playing with somebody thousands of miles away. The people suddenly that are in your tribe are now spread around the world and it's ideologically based, rather than, hmm, these are the people on my block, this is who I have to, to kind of deal with and interact with and figure out how to get so it's allowed us to narrow and calcify our, our belief systems and our values and makes it harder to bump into other people and have that empathy. And then we've got the screen, we've got all these other things going on. So lots of different factors are leading to this. And of course we've seen you know, the outcome of what can happen in that. My firm, Ignite 360, we did some research at the beginning of January this year, we asked that exact same question that the University of Michigan looked at, except instead of college students, we looked at adults, 18 plus, living in the United States. One third, nearly one third, were unable to say, I can easily see the point of view of other people. And as a researcher, I'm a little embarrassed by that question, because it's one of those questions that's just so obvious that, hmm, yeah, I probably should agree with this statement whether I think it's really true or not. So the fact that one third couldn't agree or disagree with it tells me that the number is actually probably higher than one third. That there's even more people out there, but that they felt like, oh no, I'm supposed to say that even though I might be challenged from time to time. So there's this crisis that we've got. A few more facts for you. Yes. Yeah, we just refielded that question a couple weeks ago, and I was looking at the data over the weekend, and it's actually 18 to 24 is are higher. I know. As someone who works in retail, I never would have expected that. I know. Every one older than 40. Well, then it gets into it gets into this other thing. Of, you know, as you age, you know, you can also go up, but it also depends on your education level. So higher education and then working in corporate environments, you get trained that, oh, you're supposed to have a point of view and opinion, which leads you to being judgmental. You've got to be right all the time, therefore, and defend your point. 
therefore you're not as open to other people's points of view, making you less likely to say, you know, yeah, I, I agree with that. My theory around the 18 to 24 is, is that you're still going through this beautiful period of identifying yourself and figuring out who you are. And so you're, you're kind of having trying to have empathy with yourself more than it is with others. And you can still also be in some time.